Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to add markers to a file you're working with in Audacity, or you can also do this when live recording. Over on the YouTube channel, Brody Hansen uh, asked about this, how to add markers during an interview so they know how to quickly jump to certain questions in that interview. So I'll show you how to do that. It's actually just Control M on your keyboard. So if we play back this file, we can hit Control M on the keyboard and every time we do that holding down control and pressing the M key will add a marker down here on our audio file we can then pause and we can zoom in here or we can just click on I'll well, probably zoom in so we can zoom in and look at these markers and we know that during these points uh, we can call this you know um, soft part of the song right and then like building or whatever kind of notes we want to have we can come and add them in here I want to show you two. If we just go ahead and uh, we can just clear all this out, we can delete these, and we can record a new track. This is my uh, so question number one, and we add the marker there. How do you feel about this? Blah 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 blah. Okay, question number two. Add marker. Um, you know, what's your favorite food? So if this is the interview. Then we just come down here. We hit Control M on the keyboard to create these, and then we just title it question number one. And then go to the next one, title it question number two. So fairly simple, you just need to know the shortcut key, control M. And then you can zoom out really far and be able to jump to your questions very quickly. I'm not sure if we can, I think if we click on these, um, we, could, we can move them around too once they're already placed by left clicking and dragging. Um, oh, and, and cool, we can highlight a selection as well, I didn't realize that. So if we go to the end part of it, we can move it, but we can also say this question is this duration so everything spanning here is question number two so we could even overlap certain markers can overlap each other anyway a really useful tool when using audacity hopefully that helps and uh, go ahead and uh, leave your questions and comments below if you have any and look forward to catching you in the next video